Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, I'm here today to make some tags again. Yeah, tags again. Especially for you, Barbara, if you're watching. So, yeah, I'm going to play with some of the goodies that my friend Cheryl sent me. If you didn't watch that happy mail, I will link it below where I opened it. There were just so many things. So many goodies that we don't get here in UK. So, I'm going to make some little tags and pockets with some of these. In fact, this is what I'm thinking. I've inked a few ready. I thought, fold that up, pop a tag in. But then it's like I'm covering most of yumminess up, aren't I? So, I think I'm going to tear it there on its perforation. And, yeah. Mm. We'll get that number three times, but I'm going to decoupage it. I'm going to decoupage it so it won't show through quite so yeah dark so yeah you can tell i'm winging it so i'm just going to ink around that edge yes i'm going to do that before a decoupage i think you can ink quite all right on this decoupage paper i'm about to use but just in case you can't so i don't know how i think that it's not going to show Woo, scoot scooch yeah this project would be perfect on my lovely new glass mat but i'm filming in electric light and it's really difficult for it not to glare so I've got my little piece of craft mat out. Right, this is what I'm going to decoupage with. It is, it's the Tim Holtz Ideology Collage Paper. Yeah, this is the type set slash composer set. Now this was a happy mail from Deborah. The lovely Deborah bought me this. So yeah, it's everything I'm using is from happy mail today. Yeah, we're just going to see what's underneath through which I think is going to be nice can you see what I meant about that red number you're going to see it a little bit but not a lot so I think I'd be better cutting this down before I pop it on so I want to decoupage that bit I've not decided if I'm, yeah I'm going to I'll decoupage all that I think well just the bit we're going to see so yeah cut some off first mister That'll be your best thing to do. Grab your big chompy scissors. They're not your big chompy scissors. Yeah, these will do. Don't know if big chompy Tim Holtz have gone. So. Yeah, it's really nice this. I mean, I'm going to be doing a steampunky journal. And I know it's not steampunk as such but i think it will go well in a steampunk journal and because of how it is you can just lay it down any way you want it's going to look fab so i'll cut it just a little bit bigger than that pocket i'm probably wasting bits but hey ho right i'm going to use the tim Holtz collage distress collage medium to put this down this is the matte one it's to be honest it's matte but it's got a teeny teeny little bit of a shimmer to it i think it has anyway right and i'm going to use my tim holtz distress but it's all tim holtz today isn't it oh i think my cup of tea has been delivered thank you darling oh, cup of tea oh, lovely can't go wrong with a cup of tea right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the collage medium down onto the tag. Then I'll put the collage paper on top. Right. I'll move that to that part at mat so I'm not putting it on that stickiness. And I'm, I'm not going to be too precious about whether it's straight. And these are small pieces, so oh, look at that. Can you see it's more transparent once it's glued on? Oh, I like that. I really do. Oh, I just... Here's something I found on the web. <sighs> According to lifefamilies.com, yeah. mm. I really think so. Did mm. that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Thanks for your feedback. You're welcome. I've no idea what my question were. She's on good form again, is our Gertrude. I don't know what sets her off. 
she were quiet for a long long time and now she's at it every video isn't she don't even it's like a game of jeopardy with her isn't it i mean we don't have jeopardy in the uk but i used to watch friends a lot <laughs> and they're always talking about jeopardy on friends it's like yeah she comes up with an answer and then i've got to guess question so i don't know Maybe that's what a game is. Maybe Gertrude's favourite game is Jeopardy. And that's what she's up to. I don't know. Right, that's that glue a bit wiped up. Oh, just look at that. How lovely is that? Yeah. And I'm gonna... I really don't want to go over that gorgeous thing. Do you know what? I'm not going to decoupage rest. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm just going to leave it, yeah, I'm just going to keep that bottom bit decoupaged because I just don't want to go over that at all. And I think I'm going to put another label on there so we're not getting that number three times. Or I could pop a label on the back. That would be nice. Right, I'm going to leave that to dry and let's get another tag. I've, already, I've inked a few up ready and we'll do the same with another tag. I'm going to ink the edges first it's just plain and messing really i didn't want to do anything too fancy with these tags because i want to see the lovely writing on them it's the first time i've had any of these in my sweaty little mitts so i'm giddy to use them there we go so let's put some more of the paper on that oh <laughs> we don't need that what we're wrapped it in throw that away and oh, I like that bit on yep so I'm going to do exactly the same here I'm going to put that collage medium down it's much better than trying to decoupage with a napkin oh, ne neckopage <laughs> I don't know what neckopage is <laughs> yeah <laughs> if, if it is a thing let me know <laughs> if it is I don't know I don't like sound it actually I don't like decoupaging with napkins when you put the, gl the you glue down first i get an horrible sticky tangly mess i much prefer the method where you just put your glue on top but i have had other collage papers it's not actually the first time i've used this collage paper so i did know how to stick it down all right let's lift that up Oh, I like. I really like. And I'm just going to go and trim this one off as well. I think I need a little bit more on that corner. Put a smidgen more on. There we go. I've actually got any on. <laughs> I'm not wanting to go over the top putting too much on. But I think I've, I'm going a little bit too opposite way and just not putting any on at all. There we go. So, I'll trim that down. Then I'll let these dry while I do something with the little tags I want to put inside. I mean, you can go over this again with the collage medium. You don't have to, though. It will stick without. And I think I'm not going to bother going over it. It's not like I'm doing some big, giant decoupage project that needs protecting. It's a tag. End of day. It's a tag that's going in a journal. If you want to spill your coffee on that, you've got bigger problems than your tag front not being waterproof, aren't you? <laughs> right, get some. So that's that all nice and dry again. Right, we've done two. Should we do three? Let's do three. I'll never make my mind up, me, will I? I could have sworn I'd inked three, but I've lost one of them. Just, I like how we've got that bumpy edge on it as well. So we're going to need to cut a little bit more off the roll, aren't we? I'd really love to get that big seven and five in, but that would be wasteful. Oh, we could get just the seven in there. Yeah, that'll be spot on. So I'm going to cut it there. And you get loads on these rolls. Let me tell you the size of them. How much is on it? It's it's like more than you six yards. 
which is five and a half meters. That's like whoa. And I can't I couldn't tell you price. I do have it listed on my Amazon shop front. I couldn't really tell you price. Oh I like that bit there. So let's get this medium on again. So you've seen me do three now, you, you know what you would you know what we're doing. I mean, to be honest, you don't need to use these original tags for this. I've done collaging and all sorts for years without any of these. You can get some really good printouts. Oh, my favourite way to do this before was I just like to do a bit of stamping and then put some collage paper over. Get your big scissors, woman. I've no idea what's happened to my big chompy to malt scissors. They'll turn up. They'll turn up somewhere. They always do. It's me uh, medium ones I'm usually losing. They end up in all sorts. I always panic when I've lost them. It's like, oh no, what am I going to do without them? Did the world ever end? No, it didn't. I think that's my favourite so far, but just look how good they are. Right, clean up again. Because at the end of the day, this is a glue. <laughs> if I don't clean it up, we're going to have things sticking to things we don't want them sticking to. Right, these are the tags I'm going to put inside. Yeah. So I've not decided if I want to decoupage these or... I might, I'm going to do some inking on them first, I think, then decoupage them. Yeah, I'm going to. So I'm going to take these strings off. I'll just cut them to take them off. There we go. I might put the same strings back on. I might not. I might put some fancier on them. Right. I think I want to do a bit of smushy, smushy stuff. So... I'm going to smush, no I don't want to smush with oxides, I'm going to smush with bog standard distress inks I think. So what I'm going to grab, I've got loads out here because I've been dying seam binding. Let's have some, that is vintage photo, not that you can see it. Some vintage photo tea dye I think. And I think I'm going to use a bit. Tattered rose or Victorian velvet. I don't know. In fact, I'm going to use tea dye, tattered rose and Victorian velvet. I'm just going to smush a little bit of each on this mat. You can do this on a glass mat. It's hard to see that one. And then I'm going to squirt some water on and then I'm just going to dip these tags in. You can see colour then. So that's one. Ooh, look at that. I quite like that. Two. Three. I'm just gonna lift that up as well. I like how that's gone. Let it move around a bit and then I'm just going to quickly blast those with my heat gun that I actually plugged in ready. Yeah, shocking. Forethought and planning, me. Who would have thought it? Right, that is very wet so I'm going to come in and just dab at it with my kitchen roll. Still got the colour there. Move that up a bit so you can see better. I could put another layer on if we wanted to, and I think I might do because we've got the ink there, haven't we? There we go. And there we go. It's a lovely colour, these. It reminds me. I don't even know what the lollies are called. Oh, 
you ladies in the UK are gonna know exactly what I mean. Like some sweets where you get a pink and a it's all swirled together, there's like pink and yellow. Are they rhubarb and custards? Rhubarb and custards, yeah. Reminds me of rhubarb and custards. That one that I'd not let dry as much before I put the setting colour on, it's all blended in a bit more. Whereas these two that I'd dried more. So let's just dip that in there. There we go. Just, just blowing about all over now, aren't they? Whee! So I'll just keep drying it and then dipping it back in. I'm getting all these lovely marks. I like it. I don't think I want to put collage paper over these now. But I need to do something because these tags were like bright white, whereas the other things I'd used were a cream. Right, just one more little dry, I think. Let's wipe the rest of that up. Look at me, I'm getting good at this mess, Lark. There we go. I'm not too bothered if it's on the back. I think it looks good. Right. So we've got those three done, and I'm going to come in and put some more of the collage paper over it's going to look very different over that though look you're going to see some of the colours through and when it's wet you will see even more through than you do now so I'm going to get that big number five on there aren't I and then some of the seven on there so that will do two of them right get some more of this Distress collage. I don't know why they call it distress collage medium. There's nothing distressing about it, really. <laughs> Get it all covered. I mean, this is such a small piece. I could probably do this in midair. Yeah, look at that. Look how easy that were. And I could probably put the other tag on before I go cutting around the edges oh, don't put glue on back you silly woman that would have been just like yeah mad yeah that is just wide enough isn't it just for butt that right up yeah just just by its skin of its teeth but can you see now you see the colour through I can still see the writing off the tag through. I really like that. And I need a little bit more paper. Look at me waving my hands. Sorry about that. I couldn't remember which side I've put my paper at. Oh, I like that bit there. It's quite dark. Yeah, I do. I'm going to use that bit. I'll cut the whole strip off. So get the glue on this one. There we go. Look at me, I'll get I'll get less bothered about how messy me my, my area is getting as I go on me. Start off really precious, then I'm like, yeah, just slap everything everywhere, it'll be right. Alright, that's that one. But now I'm going to clean it up because I've done glue in. And we don't want things sticking to where we don't want them sticking. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm just going to wrap this in a baby wipe. And I've totally forgot, well I've remembered now, one of my subscribers said a good thing to wrap this in is foil. If you wrap it in foil, you can keep it... The baby wipe will keep the bristles moist so the medium doesn't set on them. But foil apparently will keep it moist for a lot longer. And I've totally forgot to get some foil in my craft room to try that. Well, I know it's going to work. Right, sip a tea, sip a tea. 
Oh, that's lovely. Right, let's trim round these ones. Get your chompy scissors out, my sis. Ooh. Now, these ones do have rounded corners. I'm not going to try and cut round rounded corners. I'm going to use my corner rounder. You just know trying to cut around rounded corners is not going to happen, is it? I'm struggling to cut straight lines. That didn't work, did it? I normally just put my scissors up against the card and then cut. You can sand the edges off with a nail file, but it needs to be completely dry before you do something like that, or you'll just pull it off. Right, that's that. Where's my corner rounder? Let's see if this is dry enough for me to use my corner rounder. This could go horribly wrong, you never know. It didn't work. I think this corner is exactly the same size as my corner rounder does. So it's trying to just cut the collage paper and that doesn't want to work. So let me grab my nail file. I'm going to be very impatient and see if it'll work while this is still a bit damp. There we go. Yeah, it's working. That'll do. Now that corner isn't stuck down. I'm not getting my brush back out for that. I'll do it with my finger. There we go. Now, I'm not going to worry if I do pull the paper off some of the corners. It'll still look good. Let's see. I'll cut it first. Take your old day, that will, woman. If, I, if I'd collaged onto some big chompy piece of wood, I'd have come in with my really rough sander and just done that. I'm looking to see where my sanding block is. It's usually hanging around somewhere. It's probably on the floor. There we go. That's better than trying to cut round them with scissors. And it's a little neater. Where's the third one? There we go. I hope you're enjoying this if you're still watching Barbara. So there we go. Right. I reckon they should be dry enough now to start putting more ink on. So we've got three pockets and three tags. Put your lid on that. So I'm going to go around it with my Distress Oxide. I've got vintage, no I haven't, I've got walnut stain. Oh, and I will need to put the holes back in. Oh, I can hear a helicopter outside, I wonder what that's looking for. We don't live far away from motorway, so we do hear them quite often at night. You hear an helicopter around here, it doesn't mean something's amiss. I live quite near to quite a busy junction on M1. It might just be monitoring that. Right, that's that. And I'm going to do the same on these pockets. That's nice and grungy, that is. And you can put other things in these pockets as well. Right. Oh, one more left. You can't count, woman. Yeah, look, we've got a clock there. I do, yeah, it, it just seems quite steampunky, this to me, even though it's not. It's quite a versatile collage paper, that. Right. So, I'm going to bring my three tag tops back. That one needs just a smidgen more ink. I think I can uh, dispense with that mat now as well. There you go, Matt. You did well. So, I'll lay out my three tag tops. 
I'm going to pop those on as pockets. These will be the tags. And you can then pop these in a journal as a, it can just be a tag like that. Or you can attach it to a page and have a tuck spot there, there. You could, you could attach it on any three sides to give yourself a tuck spot anywhere or two sides. The choice would be yours. Right, I'm going to glue this down with my art glitter glue. There we go. And you can go ahead and embellish these as much as you want. Put it over a bit. I've got a bit of stray paper there, yeah. That's one. I think these will be nice with some charms on. And the last one. Oh, quite straight with that line of glue. That shocked me, that did. Total shocker. So that's those. Right, I'm going to get my chomper to do the holes. I think I might put, uh, I don't know. No, I'm always putting eyelets in. Do something different for a change woman. I think that size is just between the small. Oh, it might be just, oh, it is. It's exactly the same as the small eyelet. That's fine. <laughs> no, I can't get the paper out of there. So I can't see where I'm punching. Two done. Did it come out? No. That's it. So that's those. Right, let's grab some charms. Here we go. I went on a mini hunt. I knew I'd got some cog charms somewhere and I found them. Here we go, some little cogs. That really will add to the steampunk vibe, won't it? So, I just need to get three different ones, I think. It's that one, that one. Is that one different? Yeah, but it's a bit bigger. What else we got? We've got... Ah, oh, there's two of those. Now we've got that one. I think I'm going to go for those three. Yeah. And also, I knew I'd got some really, I'd got this burlap. Now that's got white on edges. It's the right width, but I don't know if I like that white. Well, yeah, I do like the white, actually. That one might be a bit too wide, yeah. So I'm going to go for this one. And I want to put this in that tag top. I'm going to put twine in that tag top. And I've not decided if I'm going to put the charm on... The pocket or the tag yet, we'll see. So let's pop some of this through pocket first. Yeah, I could tie that. Yeah, I'll tie that with burlap. Look at that. I've still got collage paper stuck to my scissors. Yeah, so I want three lengths about that size. That's three of those. I think I'll staple them and then tie them with twine because this is quite stiff and I don't know whether twine will hold it. I know I've got this out earlier. So I'm just going to use my tiny attacher to staple that. I'm going to do the same on other three. So you get to see everything three times here. 
And on this one. There we go. That's, oh, that were a bit, it's still held. <laughs> a bit wonky. Right, I did get my little eyelets out. Cause that, that does need an eyelet because that hole just looks a little bit lost. I'm going to go for the bronze ones to match the charms. Uh, yeah, oh, I can't remember your name because I never remember names. If you watch me, you know these things. Uh, a lady did ask about these small eyelets. And yeah, I did get these from Amazon. And I did. They're not cheap, but you get... There's like hundreds of them in that box. Look, you get the eyelets. I think it's about 400, 100 of each colour. And you get the tool to set it if you don't have a crocodile. And it does work. I've tried it. And they do work with the crocodile. I've tried so many of these little 3 sixteenths. Are they 3 sixteenths? What size are they? Let me tell you. It tells you on crocodile. Do, do, do. <laughs> what size are they? Oh, my word. One eighth of an inch should I say and they split and they don't work but these ones do and yeah look they work it's not going to cut your finger it doesn't deform the front they're absolutely brilliant so yes you may find cheaper ones but they may not work as well I think with these it's a case of buy cheap buy well, I've bought about, <laughs> must have bought half a dozen different types. And I've binned so many now because my craft room were getting overrun with them. And then I'd pick them up and forget that they were the ones that didn't work. But it's worth keeping an eye on these, even on Amazon, because the price goes up and down. I think I paid £13. When I checked today, they were at about 16 I think it depends how many people are buying things, doesn't it? Right, so that's those. And I don't know, I might just put a bulb pin in the little charm on. That'd look cute, wouldn't it? Let's pop one in and see. Does the charm, I don't know, I think the charm might need to go on there, you know. I don't know, I can't decide. I never make a decision to save my life some days. And today is one of those days. Uh, no, I'm going to tie this with twine. That was what I decided, that's what I'm going to do. Get your little scissors, woman. Oh, I'll stab myself on camera there. Yeah. I do like a little bow. <laughs> Might be steampunk, but it doesn't mean we can't have bows. Butterflies are lovely. Oh, look at that one. I glued that down enough. I'm going to use art glitter on that corner. There we go. My fingers are disgusting now. It's not the one I'm doing. That's that. And the last one. I'll see whether the bullpen will go through that hole and hold. We may need to add a jump ring to these for that to work. I don't know. Sometimes they don't lay flat and then when you put them in journals, they'll damage the pages on either side. And I find that just a little bit too annoying. So grab a bulb pin and see. We'll stick. No, I'll use the black bulb pins. Yeah. I think that goes. So I'll just pop that there and see what occurs. Oh, no, that looks fine to me. Does it? Does it really? No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. A 
if I'd have put those in, if well, the hole was there. If the hole had been in the corner, I would have used that because it just dangles off the side like that. But as it is, I really don't like it. So I'm going to tie it with twine and put these through the twine. So get your, I'm going to get my fine twine. I need to open a new one, I think. Oh, no, I've got some. Yeah, I'll use the really fine jute twine for this. And I'm going to go through the cog and through there. Then it won't be annoying me that it's not going to lay flat in my journal. And I'm just going to tie that at the top, just like the original string was, just in a knot. There we go. I like it like that. So, yeah, I've got the little cog on there. Different cog on this one. Oh, I quite like these. They're not majorly fancy. I think they've got so much interest. That's that. So that's two and the last one. I've got the urge to put it through that little hole in the middle then, but it would have just looked funny. It would have looked strange, so I'm glad I didn't. There we go. So there we have it. Oh, I quite like those. Something a little bit different for me, that, isn't it? But yeah, so steampunkish layaway tag pockets and tags so yeah i hope you enjoyed those i will leave a link to shirl's video again at the bottom shirl's channel she does from time to time sell these things she has sales so she's always worth keeping an eye on for that especially if you're in the us when the postage is not going to kill the price because <laughs> some of her prices are just like wow i think oh wow why am i here but then she sent to me in a happy mail so I was very, very lucky. She's such a lovely lady. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.